file, Madeline? I suppose so. More puzzles. In a manner of speaking. Um, hey! Ah! Oh, for heaven's sake! Enough theater! As scientists, we know our work is valuable. But the rest of the world sometimes disagrees. And outside the laboratory, truth is not always black and white. Your task is to discover which two dinner guests murdered this scientist. Wow. A scientist stabbed in the back by someone unknown. Subtle. We found that candidates who empathize with a victim are more highly motivated to solve the mystery. Wait, so this was made just for me? Only this configuration. The solution changes with each trial. Now, many of the guests you are about to encounter have questionable morals. But only the culprits have lied to the others and have a clear motive. You must discover who it was by examining the evidence laid around the room. To begin, remove the two murder weapons from the scientist's back. When you believe you've identified one of the killers, place a dagger in their back. Take as long as you want, Madeline, but you must begin investigating. You have to- Yes, I get it. Listen to each guest, go through their stuff, catch them in a lie. I suppose these are their statements. I didn't even know that guy or anyone else here. I have no idea why I was even invited. Maybe he needed a place to lay low after what happened. I didn't know him well, but I sympathize. We all make honest mistakes. But when research like his works, it can improve patients' lives significantly. Of course, his reputation also reflects on my colleagues and I. But still. Hey, it's geniuses like him that keep guys like me safe. He's got the brains, I've got the brawn. And together we can save lives, most of the time anyway. The trouble with scientists is, they're boring. The only time there's a story is when something gets huge, or goes badly wrong. And we all know which direction he went in. Of course I was upset, who wouldn't be? But I know science is vital. As I tell my students, what matters is how hard you try, not whether or not you succeed. And he did try, very hard. I don't blame him. Very good. That's one. You can always take it out and change your mind. Yeah, I saw him on TV, but whatever. I say, leave science to the eggheads and leave real work to people like me. I know how the world works just fine already, thanks. He was like a kid brother to me. A good man who stood by his principles. I sponsored and supported him. But when the truth came out, well, I can't do good work if I'm not in office. And my constituents made themselves very clear. Two suspects. If you're confident, approach the exit to see if you're right. Or you can still change your mind. I think this is right. I should head for the exit and find out. Well done, Madeline. Your deduction was flawless. So what was the point of all this? It was just a game? Nothing is just a game, Madeline. In fact, this is the kind of prejudice and persecution scientists face every day. You know that better than anyone. Subtlety really isn't your strong point, is it? Rest now. Your next trial will begin soon. Time for this. Well, let's get it over with. Damn it, it's been a whole month since the accident. How hard can it be? No way through here. Ah, the old 
pillar trial room. The look on Anton's face when I set this up for him. Server or something? Maybe I should grab a portable drive from tech support while I'm here and archive this pin feather data. Not like Dr. Stone's going anywhere. Fun stuff. So they turned this place into a trial observation room, huh? Better than leaving it to rot, I guess. The elevator's up this corridor. I'm way too busy to go to the trial party. What's your excuse? Are you kidding? My own trials just about traumatized me. Well, you know, secret lab. They can't just let people walk through. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, must be a server connection. Definitely worth getting the data off this headset. Nakamura. Perfect. Oh. Hi, Cal. Thought you'd be at the trial party. I wanted you to test the memo headset there. I know. Sorry. Work, 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 right? You know how it is. Sure, I do. Oh. So, yeah, it was the memo I wanted to ask about, kind of. I need a portable drive to download the headset data. Okay, well, put in the usual request and I'll assign one tomorrow. I need it today. Uh, now, in fact. And you know I can't do that. Security would have my ass. Come on, you've got a hundred other things in there. And they're all properly assigned, so nobody can remove them from the facility? Look, Cal, I'm sorry things didn't work out, but you can't expect me. I've gotta go. I've been waiting on this call since before lunch. Submit a request. I'll get you a drive first thing. Shit. Okay, Cal, think. What's plan B? Get Jen out of her office, and how do we do that? No idea, but there's got to be something around here. Trial Control 5C. But the good doctor's trial can wait till I've got that portable drive. Can't call Chavez yet. Not before I get this data on a portable drive. Not bad, Dr. Stone. We could do better. I reckon I won't need those. A file on Dr. Stone. Oh, I 
remember this guy. He bailed on trial four. Hmm, nerve interface expert. Probably planned to put him down in Aug Med with Annabelle. Yeah, she'd cut off her own arms so long as they replaced it with a sweet cyber prosthetic. Candidate 0961 Patel, activity log 305. 961 has restarted for the third time. She clearly comprehends the nature of this task, but is taking a measured approach. This fits with the behavior exhibited thus far. Ah, uh, outbreak. I like this one. I should get this memo data backed up before I start the trial. I reckon I won't need those. Candidate 0963, Ruiz, activity log 302. Really warm into this kid. He doesn't rush into things. So far he's spent 15 minutes just thinking about his strategy. Definitely rooting for him. Oh man, Anton's truck. Feels like years ago. I've got to get Jen Nakamura out of her office somehow. Someone tidied the rec room. Oh, that makes a change. Nobody ever puts the sugar away, though. Doesn't anybody log off anymore? This place. Salima's lab. She's completely focused on her multi-spectrum antiseptic project. Some of Chopra's samples. Sulfuric acid. Dangerous stuff. Sulfuric acid. Dangerous stuff. When I get out of here, maybe I'll finally write my book. Salima, this is Dr. Chavez. I need to know if your antiseptics are at human testing stage yet. My team is suffering daily claw and beak attacks, so they'd be perfect subjects. Call me. Extension 174. And that, Chavez, is what they call irony. Don't need that. But even down here, there's always a bigger nerd. Down to the sub-levels, huh? Well, no, we wouldn't want that, would we? Wish I could remember more chemistry. Sounds like a great way to get Jen out of her office. Chopra must be working all hours. That's a lot of money. I guess if you're rich enough, you figure you can buy extra life. No matter how unethical the treatment. And the director hasn't made a decision yet. Samples for Chopra's work. Well, 
At least someone puts their samples away properly. Decontam. Smell those chemicals. Sulfuric acid. Dangerous stuff. See what we got. So Whitlow needed skin grafts after Tanner's pyro experiments went boom. No wonder he tried to get her kicked out. Let's see what's on here. Tim straight, Anton, you tell her. Hmm, so if I run Tanner's experiment in Chopper's lab, that should distract Jen for a while. I just need to find a few ingredients first. Well, there you go. Overload the aircon it is. No potassium chlorate or sulfuric acid in here. Potassium chlorate or sulfuric acid. <laughs> Chavez through there, working on the fourth trial. Don't want to disturb her. Sulfuric acid. Well, that'll do nicely. Okay, now I need to find sugar and potassium chlorate. Sweet, sweet sugar. I still need to get potassium chlorate. Gotcha. Open sesame. Make them find their way with night vision, they said. So many broken bones and missing teeth. Haven't done a medieval version of the banquet in a while. Pity. <laughs> Abduction plans for Dr. Stone. The old black bag at the front door. Reminds me of the night they grabbed me.
Make them find their way with night vision, they said. So many broken bones and missing teeth. Oh boy, this is from that time the walkway collapsed under the candidate. Great work, maintenance. Yeah, this looks like a good setup for her. Banquet's always fun with candidates who feel wronged. I wonder what her secret's gonna be in Family Matters. I'll take the potassium chlorate, thanks. Okay, I need to put the potassium chlorate on the tripod and the acid on the mat. the sugar and the potassium chlorine, and the acid goes on the mat. So that's the sugar and the potassium chlorine, and the acid goes on the mat. I still need to find some potassium chlorine. All right, Maria, let's make some fire. Time to let Maria do her thing. Okay, switch Maria on and let her add the acid. Here we go. Yep, that's burning all right. There goes the aircon. Attention, system malfunction. The air conditioning system has suffered overload and ceased operation. Would Jen Nakamura please report to general maintenance to assist with repairs? Thank you. Slow down, cow. Wait until the coast is clear. And there goes Nakamura. Okay, with Jen gone, I can get a drive from her office and back up the headset. Sorry, Jen, but I really need that portable hard drive. Now, where does Jen keep the portable drives? Don't need that. Hey, Jen, it's Anton. Look, it's none of my business, but I wish you and Cal would patch things up. He's been real down for a while now, and he wants... All right, headset connected. Now to find a drive. First, I need a drive to attach to this to transfer the data. Gotcha. Sorry, Jen. I can't let you properly assign this one. It's got a date with the CDC. And now, start the data transfer. Let's see. Okay, this could take a while. Mm, come on. Who, me? Hmm, just making a backup. 
No, of course I'm not taking it outside. That'd be against every rule we have. All right, run the trial, requisition transport, and a one-way ticket to the CDC. Okay, back to the control room and then call Chavez. Dr. Chavez. It's Cal. Sorry, I'm a little late. Maintenance are blocking off corridors everywhere. Had to go all the way through experimental physics. Why didn't you cut through the old pillar trial room? It only adds a couple of minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, live and learn. Anyway, I'm here now. Yes, I can see you. The outbreak session is all prepared. The parameters are identical to when you ran it for Dr. Ruiz. You shouldn't have any trouble. She's waiting for you to summon her through. Please call me when it's done. Will do. See you later. I should get this trial started. I reckon I won't need those. Dr. Stone, my apologies for the delay. Your next trial awaits. Mm -hmm.